it's one of the favorite Christmas hymns of all time, isn't it? Silent Night. Gives you a feeling of peace to remember going Christmas caroling or over to Stony Bank Church for a service where we always ended with a candlelight service and singing Silent Night on this old Lester piano that was given to my family during the Depression when people didn't have any money and the workers there uh, were given a piano instead of getting paid. How's that for some history and Christmas? On the piano are some little angels spelling out Noel. Uh, my mom always had those on her mantle. And now that she's been gone these last three Christmases, we do that as a reminder for her. It's really a bittersweet, isn't it? That uh, There's so many good feelings and good memories, and yet we miss some of our loved ones. It's very hard for people this year, especially during the virus. I saw a meme yesterday that said that we are kind of obsessed with what we're getting for Christmas, that we forget to be thankful for what we don't have. And I think there's a message there. One of the traditions in our family is that we do watch White Christmas every year with Danny Kay and Bing Cosby. One of my favorite scenes is the night when, when Rosemary Clooney, remember her, when uh, she was looking good? Hoo -hoo. Man, she, she just couldn't sleep. There was a lot of stuff on her mind and she comes walking into the lodge and Bing was just kind of playing at the piano, had his pipe. So what's wrong? He said, oh, I just can't sleep. And, he starts singing her a little song. When you're having trouble and you can't sleep, try counting your blessings instead of sheep. When your bankroll is getting small, think to when you had no, none at all, <laughs> and you'll fall asleep counting your blessings. So rather than think about what we're getting for Christmas this year, take time and thank God for what you have, and especially enjoy those relationships friends, family, loved ones, because you're really not sure how long you'll have them. If you do that, you'll have a Merry Christmas. And that's today's Word from the Word. <laughs> There'll be more tomorrow. Merry Christmas, and God bless.